Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to Subscription Box Sunday. So today I have seven different boxes, that's six of them, and then I have another one to show you guys. So lots of fun things to get through today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I normally do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here, and on Sundays I do subscription box Sundays where I open a ton of them at once. So if you're into subscription boxes and are a sub box lover like me, or just want to get to learn more about them, or about beauty and other fun lifestyle things that come in subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe and let's get into these. So I'll leave timestamps down below if you wanna kinda of skip around to different boxes, but let me walk through what we will have today. So first I have layered with lace. I'm thinking that this is the October one. I also have the Phoebe Macaron subscription for September. I have the Cacao Chocolate subscription for October. I have Medusa's Makeup subscription for October. I have the Boxes of Aloha box, I believe this is September. And then I also have the Lavish Bath box for September. So lots of fun stuff to get through. I'm gonna assume that this this might be a little bit longer of a video, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but go ahead and grab a snack, a drink, something like that. I hope you're having a good Sunday so far. I am filming this on Sunday for it to go up on Sunday. And I'm having a good morning today because the Formula One race, Daniel Ricardo got third place and I'm a fan, so I'm super happy about that. And then Hamilton matched Schumacher's record. None of you guys probably are into Formula One, so you probably don't care, but it was a pretty good day, a pretty good race to watch. So I am in a good mood. All right, we're gonna kick it off with Medusa's makeup. I know a lot of you guys love the makeup subscriptions that I receive on this channel. So this box um, is $18.95 a month, and it comes with four full-size um, makeup and beauty products that are cruelty-free and vegan. They do ship internationally, so if you live in other countries other than the United States, you can get this box as well. So let's get inside. So this is the October box, like I said, and this month's theme is Hocus Pocus, which is super duper fun. Um, and let's look inside. The total box value looks to be $41 and the first thing that I am pulling out is the Medusa's makeup setting spray and that's what it looks like there and this retails for $11 so it says turn your makeup to stone with the Medusa's makeup setting spray now I actually forgot to set my face today so we'll definitely go ahead and try this here in a second this is one fluid ounce now usually a lot of the products in the box are Medusa's makeup brand and then they usually have one additional brand inside if you don't want to subscribe, you can also just purchase makeup from their website as well. All right, I'm gonna spritz it in front of my face first just to make sure the stream isn't too much. Not bad. The mist is fine enough. It has a barely scent, like, but I, I prefer it that way, and it feels pretty good on my face, so I'm not mad about that. This is, I'm guessing this is full size, but also it's like a smaller size, so it's easy to travel with, which is nice. The next thing out are a pair of lashes. I don't know if I've ever gotten a pair of lashes from them before. These are their Deluxe False Eyelashes Synthetic, um, and this retails for $7. It includes a natural rubber latex adhesive. Apparently this is featured in Urban Outfitters. So there are the lashes there. Now, I'm gonna be quite honest, I don't know. I tried to put on lashes and completely failed many times. I am not big into lashes, maybe just because I can't put them on. But these do look really nice, so maybe I'll have to like practice with them, but they do look really nice and I'm excited to try them. But it's probably gonna emphasis on try. I'll probably fail and then it'll just be crazy, but super excited to get some of those. I do like to get lashes just in case. You know, <laughs> even if I never use them, I like to have them just in case. All right, so the next thing out is from a different brand, and this is from Lovebird, and this is their Tinted Lip Balm in Kiss. Um, this retails for $9, so it keeps your lips moisturized all day long with a flirty, medium, reddish, earth clay lip. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I love, like, lip balm tinted kind of things. And this is a big. I mean, this is, like, bigger than a glue stick size, so, like, you do have to be a little bit careful when applying that you don't, like, get it all over your face versus your lips. But let's just swatch this on my hand. Ooh. Um, this has a kind of makeup-y scent to it. That's what it looks like there. Honestly, that's actually really pretty. I think that'll add a nice tint to the lip. Um, it's a little splotchy, but that's because I have hand on my... I just say hand on my hair. I have ha hair on my hand. Brain power. Um, so that's probably why it's doing that, but that is really, really pretty. Next thing out is this here, and this is the Medusa's Makeup Witch Lash um, Mascara. So this reaches for $12 and is also featured in Urban Outfitters. So it's super thickening waterproof mascara with a bristle brush. I, this is a, I don't, have I gotten a mascara from them before? I'm not sure. So this is what it looks like. I don't want to open it quite yet just because I have tons of mascaras open. However, 
This is what the wand looks like right there once it focuses. So you can see it just kind of has that bristle wand there. I'm excited to mess around with this because I've never um, gotten mascara from them before. If I have, it's been mini. It hasn't been full. So I'm super excited about this. And I love the hot pink packaging. Now that was four products. There is a bonus, which is a little sample this month. And this is the Coco Betty Coconut Oil Makeup Remover. I guess this retails for $2. Um, I don't tend to use a ton of makeup remover wipes. I have a different way of removing my makeup with like Pond's cold cream and like removing it that way versus a wipe. But I like this little packet because it's perfect to throw in your purse so that if you need to like take your makeup off on the go for whatever reason, um, this would be a great thing to take with you versus taking like a whole pack. So that's everything in Medusa's makeup for October 2020. I thought it was pretty good. I really do like it. Um, I'm surprised there aren't more colors or dark colors in this box. This box will test you with its colors and things like that. So it's not, I, I actually really like this box. I'm just surprised they weren't more like pop colors or things for October and Halloween and stuff like that but honestly I do really like everything that I got. I should mention that every single box here except for the lavish bath box was sent to me for review so the only box I paid for out of all of these was the lavish bath, bath box. Everything else was sent for free for me to just show. All right so the next box I will get into is the layered with lace box. Now this is a monthly bralette subscription where you get a new bralette each month for $16. I don't personally have a coupon code but a lot of times they have them on their website so if you're interested definitely go look and see if you can find one. But let's see what bralette we got this month. I'm thinking this is October. It was shipped on October 5th. So I'm gonna assume that this is the October box. It never really says. Ooh, well the color first of all is really pretty. I wanna make sure you can pick up, it looks more navy um, on in the camera than it does in real life. In real life it has, it's like a, a dark turquoise. Um, but there we go, let me actually hold up the bralette the right way. So this is what it looks like. Super cute, it has the back like that. I really like these bralettes. They're really, really nice. It's fun to get different colors and designs, but I do think this one's really cute. I don't have one in this color yet. Bralettes are definitely more of something I wear in the summer versus the winter, but I still do think it's really, really cute. I love this color. Um, so if you want to have some more bralettes, this subscription is a great one to try. All right, the next box is very new to my channel. This is the first time I'm reviewing it, and this is the Boxes of Aloha box. Now, I think this might actually be a new subscription in general, but this is $50 a month, and you get five to eight treats um, from Hawaii, and you also get four to five Hawaiian-inspired products as well for that $50, so you get like a ton of products, at least nine, but you could get up to 13 products inside total. I do have a code down below where you can get 10% off of the box. Now, there is also a mini version of the box. If $50 is too much for you, that is $35 a month. You get four to six Hawaiian treats and one to two Hawaiian inspired products. So let's see what's inside. So this is the September 2020 box. There is some Hawaiian like sayings in here and I'm going to butcher them. So I'm gonna apologize in advance, but it says Olilo Noao. Um, no, oh, there's a whole thing. I'm not gonna try that one, but not all knowledge is found in one school. Um, so I'll just like show it up on the screen. So if you wanna read it yourself, but I just really don't wanna butcher it that bad <laughs> um, because I will. Oh, that's really cool. There's another card in here and it says, Aloha, here's a list of new artists and local businesses you're helping support this month, which is really awesome. This box does help support local and small businesses in Hawaii. So the Penalu Bakery we're supporting, the Bamboo Kaui, um, and the Mermaid Island Treasures are some of the brands that we are supporting with this box. And then on top, the very first thing, I guess this is a postcard. Well, it is a postcard because it has this. I don't know if this is an item in the box or if it was just on top, but this is a keepsake postcard and this is the Green Sands Beach. Um, which is really cool. So you could obviously send this as a postcard or you could frame this or you could just like hang this up somewhere. But honestly, that's a really, really gorgeous picture. Of course, my ring light's shining in it, so I apologize. <laughs> Ooh, uh, this looks really fun. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to get inside. All right, so the first thing is this here and it says de designed in Hawaii. This is the Island Fabric Fan. So I'm guessing this is a fan. Oh, I love these for like setting your face with setting powder and like fanning them down. Oh, this one is really, really pretty. Oh, it feels really good. It has such a tropical kind of vibe. It's very feminine. Sometimes with these fans, there's kind of like old fashioned -y kind of designs, but I genuinely feel like this one is super vibrant and fun and summery. Oh, I really, that's the front, that's the back, but that's really, really pretty. And it feels very well made. I like, I love that. That's so fun. The next thing says bamboo, 
Kawi? Kawawi? These feel like maybe... Um, not forks, not spoons. Straws. That's the word. And that's exactly what it are. It are. <sighs> Oh my goodness, what it is. So it does come with two bamboo straws. They say aloha on them, which is really cute and fun if it will focus on that. Um, really cool. I love having little like straws and these are fun. It also does come, and this looks very like a natural material to clean out the inside. A lot of times it's plastic, so I do like that this looks like it's probably um, a material that can well, like that will disintegrate when it's thrown away or you know what I mean like it's not gonna harm the environment So that's really really cool. The crows also are outside again cawing So hopefully you can't hear that but if so, I'm sorry. There's a lot of stuff in this box So the next thing that I'm pulling out is Alay Salt Hawaii. It's 100% Alay. I don't know if this is like flavored salt. It looks like it could be like sea salt because it kind of has that like Himalayan kind of appeal to it or like that pink but it doesn't say that it's it's LA sea salt so I wonder if it has any sort of like flavor profile from the type of salt that it is um, but that's really pretty and that's a lot of salt like that's that looks really pretty that'd be perfect to like sprinkle over on top of something um, because this definitely looks like special salt and again that's a lot of like salt right there more food so the next thing out is Rockies and this is their almond crunch so that's how it comes packaged in the outer packaging. And then inside are these little pouches of almond crunch. Now there's a lot of food today in this video, but I'm gonna snack because I didn't really have breakfast. So I will eat some stuff. So it looks like there might be two different flavors in here. One has some green stuff in it, and then the other one is just like a regular pale one. So I'm gonna try one of each. Start with the green one. That is seaweed, but I like it. It's kind of sweet, has a saltiness from the seaweed, great flavor. I'll try this one. So the very front, I like both of those. The very front hit is salty and then it turns sweet, but those taste really, really good. Honestly, I like that. And um, it has almond, rice flour, sugar, wheat flour, palm oil, rapeseed oil, margarine, salt, seaweed, powdered shrimp. That might be what's in their baking powder. I thought it was really good. Um, and these are a product of Japan too, um, but that is delicious. All right, the next thing out again is from Rockies, and this is the Mini Nori Arare, Are. So that's what that looks like. Now I know that Hawaii has a lot of Asian influence, and these are a product of Thailand. So we had a product of Japan, now a product of Thailand. These look a little bit more scary to me, but they have rice, soy wheat, black seaweed, sugar, modified tapioca starch, rice, rice alcohol, glucose, fish powder, caramel color. Let's just try it and see. It smells like seaweed and caramel, kinda. Ooh, I like that. It has a great umami flavor. Tiny bit of fishiness, which I'm not a fan of fishiness, but I like these, so if you're someone who doesn't like that, you'll probably like these as well. Those are really, really good. I'm excited to eat, eat these later when I watch TV, let's be real, but yum. All right. One last thing, I think, from Rockies, and this is their little hang gummy bears. These are a product of USA. So these are gummy bears, but they have like powder on them. Do you see that? Let me see if it'll focus. So I don't know if these are spicy. I don't know, it doesn't say anything, but we're gonna try it. I'm just gonna go in for a red one. It just tastes like a regular gummy bear to me. I'm not getting any spice, maybe barely. Now I, like spicy food so to me this doesn't taste spicy but maybe it's not supposed to i'm not 100 percent sure if you know what's on these definitely let me know um but it does they taste good they're good gummy bears so i really like those the next thing is from tiki toes and it's the original island style sticker made in hawaii and it sticks on whatevers so it's just a vinyl sticker and it just says hawaii on it in the shape of a little ice cream cone which is super duper cute so fun um so this next thing I'm not gonna try on camera. This is Rocky's Cuttlefish. So that's dried fish, squid, sugar, salt, pepper, monosodium, glutamate. It's product of China. I am not a big fish fan, and I don't wanna throw this away if I don't like it. So I'm probably gonna save this and give this to somebody because I don't wanna waste food. I am not a fish fan. I'm not that, maybe I'll put this if I like make ramen, maybe I'll put this in it because then I can mask it with stuff, but I'm not gonna eat this plain. 
I'm just, I'm not. It might be fine, but I don't want to sit here and gag and then throw the bag away and waste it. Like, I just don't think that's fair to the product itself or to this box. So I will be saving that and either using it in cooking or giving it away to someone who might enjoy it more. The next thing out is from Mermaid Island Treasures. Let me get this out. These are a pair of earrings. So that is what the earrings look like. They're a pretty brown shell and then they have little black beads right there. I'm going to put my hand behind one. I don't know if it'll be easier to see the contrast that way, but those are super super duper beachy and fun. I think they're really, really cute earrings and I love the little shells. Another thing from Rockies and these are pistachio nuts. I don't think that they necessarily have any flavor to them. Um, so I'm not gonna open them right now because I have a bag of pistachios open um, and it doesn't look like they have any particular flavoring, but I do love, love, love pistachios. I, again, just don't wanna open this and then they get like stale or whatever because I already have a bag open, but I love pistachios. And this just has pistachios and salt. Then there are two things from Puna, Puna Lu, Lu Bake Shop. One is the Lily Koi Passion Fruit Flavored Macadamia Shortbread Cookie. And then the other one is a coffee flavored macadamia nut shortbread cookie. I'm, I think I've already had my coffee today. I'm gonna stick away from caffeine, but I will try this mango one, passion fruit one. So I'm just gonna break off a little piece of it because I don't wanna eat the whole thing right now. But that's what it looks like. That was incredible. Like honestly, incredible. It has a buttery crunchiness of a shortbread, but the sweet acidity, well not really acidity, but a little bit of acidity, and just a beautiful sweetness and flavor that comes from that passion fruit. That is honestly phenomenal, and I cannot wait to finish that and eat the other one. Two more products in the box. The first one says Aloha, and it's a little bottle opener, but it's also a magnet. So you can just like stick this to your fridge, and then if you have a bottle to open, you have that bottle opener there that says Aloha. And then last but not least, there is a cute little 2021 calendar, which can we... I mean, we are in the fourth quarter. We are almost done with this year. Oh my goodness. Um, so this has a little calendar inside. So there's like this, the monthly calendar thing. And I think at the back there is, yeah, like a little like address thing where you can keep like people's names and phone numbers and stuff. But I think that's cute. This is my first 2021 calendar that I've received in a box. I'm sure I will receive more, but this is a really, really cute one. So very excited to have a calendar for next year where hopefully I can plan to actually do some fun things. So that is everything that I received in the boxes of Aloha for, I think this was the September box. Honestly, very impressed. You get a lot of stuff for that $50 price tag. Sometimes I see these $50 boxes come out and you get like five products and sometimes that's worth it, but sometimes it's hit or miss, but you get a ton of stuff. And of course, you're helping support local small businesses, or not local, but local to Hawaii small businesses. And I think that that's super duper great and awesome. And I love that. Um, so very excited to eat all these snacks. Very, very impressed with this box. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below about this box in particular. And then again, I do have that 10% off code. All right, so next let's try some chocolate. Let's go with the cacao box. Now this box comes with four to five premium specialty crafted chocolate bars. So these aren't just like the chocolate bars you're gonna get walking down your grocery store aisle. These are like handcrafted where they have control of like the full process from bean to bar. Sometimes the companies even do the packaging themselves. So these are really, really nice special bars of chocolate. So again, you get four to five bars a month for $39.99. Um, usually the bars are around $21 a bar or in that price range. I do have a coupon code down below where you can get $5 off your first box if you sign up for a monthly subscription. If you sign up for a three, six, or 12 month subscription, you, the $5 off coupon can't, won't work, it doesn't apply. So if you wanna sign up for the monthly, you can get the $5 off and let's get inside. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. There's the bag with the chocolates. I love the little orange squiggles for October. So you get this like little satchel. And then on the bottom, there is also a card on how to taste chocolate. Now I've gotten this before, sent to me so I know, but you prepare yourself, cleanse your palate, look at the bar, touch, smell, snap, taste, enjoy. Those are the like, main things, but there's definitely some details throughout it that you can read if you get the box. Now I will say that these truly are specialty chocolates. And honestly, I've had some of the best chocolates I've ever tried in this box. They are really, really nice. So we have five bars this month and this is kind of what they look like. Now I will try a little bit of each one. The first one is Maru and this is the, well, this is in a different language. So it's like the Duck Luck 70% 
Soko Laden Single Original Dark Chocolate. Uh, it is a 70% chocolate, so they craft all of their chocolate in Saigon using purely Vietnamese ingredients of the highest quality. Awesome. Well, let's um, open this up. Very nice packaging. A lot of these have really nice packaging. So corner was already broken off. It has this really pretty diamond pattern on the chocolate. So let's taste it. It's very thin, which is nice. Very, very nice. I like that a lot has the great combo of sweetness and bitterness that a lot of the dark chocolate bars do. I don't know if I'm catching a floral note or if there's just the flowers on the packaging are making me think that there might be a slight floral note to this bar. Probably making that up. They don't give like exact tasting notes, but honestly, that's a very, very good a bar of chocolate. The next bar is from Dick Taylor, and this is their hazelnut milk chocolate. It's 55% cocoa with Alexander Family Farm A2 milk. So this is delicately roasted organ hazelnuts have been paired with our exceptional milk chocolate made from earthy Brazilian cacao and old fashioned A2 A2 whole milk from Alexander Family Farm. And they use only the finest ethically sourced cacao and their award-winning chocolate is expertly crafted using European techniques from bean to bar and our small factory in Eureka, California. Cool. I think I've gotten a different bar from Dick Taylor before in this box. Yeah, this packaging is familiar. So inside there, there's the bar. You can definitely feel the creaminess of this milk bar. It reminds me of some of the really nice milk German chocolate where it's almost like soft and it's not because it's hot in this room because it's not, it's cold. But this like instantly melts on your fingers type of milk chocolate. That was beautifully creamy. You get the lovely crunch from the hazelnut. And that's that super creamy kind of chocolate that really coats your mouth and gives you that really soft feeling. I really enjoyed that. That's not too sweet for milk chocolate, particularly in the United States. I feel like you, you get used to very, very sweet sugary milk chocolates. Sorry, I had to get a, a tissue to wipe my fingers. Um, but that was really, really brilliant. The next bar, I absolutely love the packaging. This is from Markham and Fitz, and this is their Southern Pecan Chocolate. So it's 52% dark milk Nicaraguan chocolate with caramelized pe pecans and black salt. That sounds awesome. Now, I'm pretty sure that all of the bars ha are, have ethically sourced cacao, which I think is also super awesome. So it's brightly aromatic cacao blends with cream and a salted subtle crunch of our Louisiana ladies heritage, the pecan. So this is what the bar looks like. Okay, I think I've gotten a bar from Markham and Fitz before because of that pattern. And then on the back, you see kind of that crunchiness. All right, so we've gone for a little piece right there. That bar is awesome. Definitely more milk chocolate. Has that same kind of creaminess. A lot sweeter than the last bar we tried, but I love the hit of salt. I'm a big fan of like caramel with chocolate because of the salt. So anytime there's like salt in a bar of chocolate, I am all for it. So I am all for that bar. The next thing is from Ranger Chocolate and this is their 66% cacao with maple sugar. Ooh, yum. So maple sugar is made by evaporating the water from maple sap, leaving behind pure maple crystals. Maple sugar tends to have a sweeter taste paired with bold fruit forward train Trinitario cacao. The resulting chocolate bar has a unique flavor profile that you think you're going to love. The tasting notes are strawberry and maple. Ooh, yeah, this is from Portland, Oregon. Um, I have family in Vermont, so I'm very familiar with the maple process because I've been there to see it. No pattern on this bar, but I like the no frills. Now this is a big bite, so I'm just gonna eat like half of this. I love that. I love the taste of maple because it does remind me of my family. And not too sweet, great bitterness, and then just the, the maple ha is at the perfect balance. It is not too much, so it's you still read chocolate and maple second, rather than maple being this overpowering thing or flavor in it. Honestly, I super duper love that bar. And then last but not least is this here. It looks like, I mean, it looks like cheese, but it's obviously chocolate. This is the dark chocolate Taza chocolate cinnamon Mexican style stone ground chocolate. Super cute packaging. I mean, I really love that. 50% um, dark chocolate, which for me is not, that's almost milk chocolate, but um, I, if I want dark, I prefer more 70. Um, so this has two different little wheels of chocolate inside, if you can see. So there's two of them. All right, so we'll try this. That is a very different chocolate experience to what I've ever had. I don't know if I've ever had Mexican style stone ground chocolate, and that's probably why. It's crunchy and gritty, not in a bad way, but it's gritty. And I'm, I don't know if that's because of the cinnamon or that's the way that the chocolate is, but I'm used to very smooth bars of chocolate and that one is not, but it's very, very good. 
It almost has a smoky flavor to it. Very, very light smoky flavor. I don't know where I'm getting that from. But I really like that. Very, very different. Very, very good. Um, my mind is a little bit blown right now because I've never tried anything like that before. So those are all the chocolates in the October box. Super impressed. I really, really do like this box and I'm so excited to eat the rest of those chocolates and just savor each and every bite. All right, a break from eating. Let's do the lavish bath box next and then we'll finish out with the Phoebe uh, Macron box. So this is the lavish bath box for September 2020. This is a monthly bath subscription where you get things like bubble bars, bath bombs, candles, salts, all sorts of things. It is $38.95 a month plus shipping. Shipping is like $7.99 in the US um, you, they do ship internationally for more, so it's in that $40 price range for the box. Each month is themed, which I really, really love. I love bath boxes. They're one of my favorites. Um, and this one has indie bath products inside. So when you open it up, this is what the box looks like. It looks like the September theme is fall, y'all. I think October's is witchcraft and wizardry, which like honestly, so excited for that one, but this is really cool as well. And it looks like we're gonna get six products inside. I'd say usually you get five to six products in this box. So the very first thing that I'm pulling out looks like this, and this is a Welcome Fall Body Mist by Nectar Fresh. So it says, spritz the scents of fall over with these long-lasting body mists featuring a surprise variety of scents, including vanilla fig, apples and caramel, or fall breeze, autumn leaves, amber, apple, and red currant. So I got the apples and caramel body mist. It has that pretty like pinky, purpley kind of color. Let's just go ahead and spritz some. I don't know if I want to spritz it on yet because I don't really want to smell like anything today for whatever reason. That smells so nice. It smells like apples in fall. It, it kind of has like a, a pecan kind of smell to it. I know it's caramel, but it smells like southern, like south fall, and I love it. That smells really, really good. I'm sure you could probably also use this as like a, a room mist rather than a body mist as well, and that smells phenomenal. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. The next thing is a um, Midwest Mini Mason Candle by Car uh, Candle Barn Company. So this soy blend candle features fresh scents reminiscent of a Midwestern fall, spicy nutmeg, cloves, cinnamon, and allspice in a tiny mason jar. So sweet, we can hardly stand it. And genuinely, that is so adorable. Ooh, that's really nice. Very, very like spicy scent. Not like spicy as in like, like peppers, but spicy as in like a lot of like yummy like cloves and like the stuff that they described. I don't know if they said cloves, but you know what I mean. They did, I think. Really, really good long wick there. Beautiful little candle. I cannot wait to light this and it's just so mini and cute. Oh, wow. The next thing out is this here. This is huge. This is the Sweet Sunflower Bath Bomb by Bubble Boss. It says these beautiful blossoms are hand painted in a gorgeous golden gradient of fall colors and scented in farm to tub. A blend of sun kissed sugarcane, clean coconut, and warmed leather. Warmed leather. leather. I don't know what that means. Ooh, that is an amazing scent. That's like tropical meets fall in a very weird way. I don't know how else to describe that scent. And this is like a hefty, like a hefty, like big bath bomb and it's painted beautifully. I cannot wait. Now it does look like the whole thing is painted and the other side is white. So I'm not quite sure what the bath water color is. If there's any like embeds in here that have color or if there is gonna be any color or if it's just painted on but it smells amazing. I can't wait to use that. Okay, this is another huge bath bomb. This is the Buck Wild Bath Bomb. It's coming on hunting season here and these exclusive rustic wood inspired bath bombs featuring a shimmering stenciled deer with some delightful floral details. This is by Lizzie's Fizzies. Oops, I don't know if I was showing that well. And this is flavored in apples and maple bourbon. That, like look how thick that is. I mean like they're both big, this one's definitely a little bit wider. That smells really good too. I can't really get the scent out of this one because it's really well wrapped, but that is so, so cute. That looks like a cookie almost. Like I just want to eat it, but that is so pretty. And like, that's a huge bath bomb. Like we get some big bath bombs this month. The next thing that I am pulling out is a sweet tea body, 
excuse me, a sweet tea sugar scrub by Bathhouse Soap. So it says this lathering golden scrub is scented in a southern styling of sunshine brewed tea leaves on a twist of lemon and a truckloads of sugar, featuring real black tea leaves for an even smoother experience. Oh my goodness, this looks phenomenal. Like that yellow color is insane and it looks very natural too. That smells like straight up natural sweet tea. Like not like super processed, it almost is like a little spicy because of like how strong that tea flavor is. That is incredible. I love that. I cannot wait to use that. That smells really, really good. And it's a very unique scent that I have, you don't get a lot in bath boxes. So I'm very excited for this. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. So this last thing out is the Your Beautiful Bubble Bar by Moon's Harvest. It says, kick up your boots with this exclusive star studded bubble bar scented in a blend of fresh zesty crisp fall apples, lemon verbena, lint and linden blossom. You crumble this under running water at the start of your bath for a pile of bubbles. I can't really smell this through the package either, but it is so cute and you will definitely have some blue bath water with this. So that is so, so fun and cute. So that's everything in the lavish bath box for September. That was such a fun box. From September to December, I feel like bath boxes, the themed ones particularly, have some of the most fun, awesome products. And I'm so excited to take baths with these. I think it is an awesome, awesome theme. Great, great stuff. And I'm so excited to use all of it. All right. And then last but not least is from Phoebe Fever. And they sent me a box before that I did an individual video on of like their regular baked goods subscription, I guess you could call it, but they do also have a macaron subscription, so they sent this to me for review as well. The macaron subscription is $24 a month, and you get 10 macarons inside. I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in signing up. I believe they're sending me, like, the full, like, the other subscription this month as well, so that'll be fun. Now, when I open this, this is the September box, um, which the theme was the fall travel edition, so this is not October. This is the September box, and then when you open it up, you have two boxes of macarons inside. It looks like both of these have the same flavors. Um, so if you wanted to like gift one, you totally could. So the flavors have um, Brigadero, which is dark brown and sprinkles. Uh, so it tells you what they look like. The brownie is brown. There's a Nutella that's nude. There's a Thai tea that's burnt orange and a black forest that is red orange. And then when you open them up, that is what it looks like. So there are tons of different, like you can see the different colors and they are individually wrapped. Now, I am only gonna eat one right now because I just ate all that stuff and I'm gonna throw up if <laughs> I eat all of them. So honestly, the Black Forest is the one calling my name because <laughs> I'm German. So we're gonna go for this one right there. Again, they are all individually wrapped, which is nice. Now, when I got the last box there from them, there was a macaron in that macaron in that box that I really, really liked. So this is it's a little bit crumbly from Transit. Super yummy, very sugary. If you can like see, there is like the jelly kind of inside, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Very, very good. So each month you would get different flavors inside. I can only eat half of that right now because of everything. So you have the different five of the different flavors that are described. Um, and they're very yummy, very sweet, very good macarons. So if you're looking for like a sweets kind of subscription, that's a super great one. And it's $24 a month and I will leave a link down below. Now I know I've been a little bit less chatty in this video, but obviously had a lot of boxes to get through. Um, curious question for you. Do you like when these subscription box Sundays have like a lot of boxes like today or like more like three to four boxes? What do you like? I mean, it will vary week to week no matter what, just because there are some weeks that are busier with boxes than others. So that will determine the amount of boxes. But I'm just curious to hear, what do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer these longer videos with tons of boxes or do you prefer ones that just have like three to four? Definitely let me know your thoughts down below. I'm very excited right now because it's like 12 and all I've had is a yogurt and coffee and all this stuff that I had, but I have leftover um, Schweinehexe from yesterday. We went to a German restaurant and I got the Schweinehexe and I'm so excited to eat that here in a minute. I have leftovers. I could not finish it. If you don't know what that is, it's like a pork knuckle, very traditional German food, and it is so good and I cannot wait to eat the leftovers here in a minute because I I need lunch. <laughs> um, I have a long weekend this weekend so I'm going to enjoy 
um, my day tomorrow. I want to try to get some cleaning and stuff done today after this. So when this video is going up, let's fingers crossed that I've gotten some cleaning done because yesterday I, I did a family day, a well needed family day. And so today I have everything that I need to get done. I did my laundry. I need to clean the fish tank. I need to do my towel laundry. I need to clean the dishes. I think I'm going to, for dinner, I'm going to cook stuffed portobello mushrooms. Side note, this is where I'm going to be chatty. <laughs> If you weren't wondering, I there's a YouTube channel called Sorted Food, and I have been a member of like their benefits for a while now, where I get their cookbooks and stuff. They have a Pax app, which is basically like an app um, that has recipe plans for you. So it's like doing HelloFresh or Blue Apron, but you don't get the food sent to you. You just get a recipe pack each week, and then you cook it much, much cheaper than obviously the other subscriptions, and you get other stuff with it. And I've been kind of doing that for a week now. Would you want me to do a cooking video on that and like a review of that? I'm, I'm really curious if you guys would be into that. I haven't done a cooking video in a while, so I'm thinking maybe that would be something fun to do on my channel. So definitely let me know if you'd be um, into that. Those stuffed portobello mushrooms I'm talking about are one of the recipes from them. I did like a fish pie this week, I did a burger. Next week I'm doing like an Asian fusion meals pack. So definitely let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing. If you are, then I'll definitely do that sometime, probably later this month. Um, if not, then I'll just continue doing it on my own. But so far, I've been enjoying it, and it's been pushing me out of my comfort zone and motivating me to cook. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Also, let me know which boxes did you like the most. We went through tons today. So let me know like which boxes were your most favorite. What products did you like the most? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video.